Welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. My name is Marco Spiezia. I'm the general manager at Zeosoft, which is the company that produces, manages, resells Radar Opus, the software. And here we have the main man, the one and only Luke Norland, who has been working with us for quite a long time. So obviously, Luke is a homeopath. Uh, the name and the surname should, you know, give away yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Family heritage. That's it. Um, yeah, Luke has been a really a key asset for us, um, you know, for Frederick and his team in the making of Adonis. So today he's just going to go through some of the details and I'm going mm. to hopefully pick on him. Yeah. Sounds okay. good. Sounds good. And um, <clears throat> we also were uh, reflecting, Marco and I, on how long we've been working, yeah. you know, for Radar Opus. And it's, you know, Marco was there a little before me, but. Um, Phil Edmonds got me involved uh, initially when I was a year two student at the School of Homeopathy. Um, and I was using, you know, complete dynamics before uh, before that point. And he said, oh, could you, um, you know, if I give you a simple version of Radar Opus, could you write me a little review and um, give me some feedback? And you know, and it went on from there. And it's, um, it's interesting because Misha was, uh, you know, he used Mac repertory his whole life. He had the very first Mac that was ever built and we had it up in his uh, attic room in the house, um, a very, <laughs> very slow thing that ran on floppy disks. Um, but he had Kent's repertory on there. And so, yeah, his his whole life, he was sort of in, in the other camp. Uh, so it was, you know, uh, an interesting turn of fate that I ended up uh, working with the Radar Opus and with Synthesis. And, um, you know, meeting Marco, realizing that he's like, uh, you know, he's Italian, but he, he grew up in Cornwall. Yeah. His dad's also a homeopath and we're like born the same year. Um, so Excellent. We, year. Yeah. It was, a, yeah, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting, getting towards being vintage now, but um, yeah, there's a lot in common and, um, and it's, and that's really shaped, you know, my involvement. And so a lot of what I want to share with you today is um, about school of homeopathy provings that we've put in synthesis adonis um so oh, I um, uh, by the way i am monitoring uh the chat so if everyone has um you know questions do write them and then of course i will pass them on um and get luke to answer as many as possible brilliant i'll just make sure you can see looks like you can see the right screen now and i'll just get things set up here yeah uh, so i can still see you guys a bit too perfect um so yeah basically what we're talking about today is uh, the work that i've done in synthesis and um it wasn't kind of planned that um i didn't sort of realize that my work would necessarily all be included when i started the main mm. beginning of the work was um uh, my brother manny he runs the school of homeopathy um now and has done for years um he said there's lots of provings that haven't been repertorized yet uh, and I was in the second year and I was just like really delving into synthesis um, and was working with Phil at the time uh, and with Marco and, and Frederick. So I was, a you know, I was a baby then really in terms of my involvement with mm. Radar Opus, just starting to learn the ropes from Phil about <clears throat> the UK side of things. And um, so it was like a baptism of fire, like, can you repertory some provings? Mm. Um, and that is a brilliant way to learn the repertory because... In, in order to repertorize it fully, you have to go to every corner of the repertory, really, because, you know, the last thing you want to do is create lots of new symptoms. It's better to always, you know, um, start, f you know, continue filling the symptoms that already exist. So, um, you know, if you are a student, um, you know, look at some provings and start repertorizing, you know, it's a really good way to learn. So it started with, in that way. And, you know, the main, what I want to show you today is how Adonis um, is re a really unique repertory. It has information in it that you can't find anywhere else right now. Uh, and especially in, in the mind chapter. So for cases um, where there's, you know, psychological disturbance, it's going to be a really helpful um, repertory, an important part of the toolkit, I would say. And I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. And you can use it alongside the complete and Murphy's repertory and all the classics and, you know, treasure edition, you know, it's about expanding our toolkit. So the journey began uh, working on the provings that um, my father and Peter Fraser 
um, did together. And later on, uh, Manny also got involved with the provings once once Peter had finished. But um, they're amazing provings. And the first one uh, that I worked on was Badger um, or Melez Melez, um, which will How we'll very get British. To. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The badger. It was actually a, a bit of roadkill um, uh, that you know from Devon. Um, so it had an injured leg as well. The badger and um, the some of the symptoms that came through uh, are possibly you know down to that. Related, fact. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah, and it is a remedy that's had some. Um, it's been prescribed. Um, there's you know so basically we did um, we published a book last year, um, the Proving's book, a celebration of Proving's very. Um, lovely um, publication, you know, not too expensive. And it has all of the School of Homeopathy provings with little nutshells written by Misha that introduce the remedies and then nice source information um, and, you know, sort of the mainly the mental picture. But the full provings are all available on the School of Homeopathy website. So, um, yeah, so this book was produced and a lot of the provings are in Adonis. So this is a list here that you can see on your screen uh, of the all of the different substances that the school has done provings of. Um, okay. And uh, one of the things I can show you as well is um, this page from the Radar Opus website. Um, it's where it shows you all of the provings that have been added into Adonis um, and so you can see Vladimir Petro Petroki has the most uh, provings. Yeah, he was a great helper, really, wasn't he, as well? Yeah, yeah, he's he's done amazing work in the field of provings. Mm. And, yeah. Um, and, then, and then Misha's provings here, 20, Jeremy shares 18. So if you do have a donor and you want to know what's in there, um, then you can go to this, you can go to this page and we'll put the link in the chat yeah. um, towards the end. Um, and you know, just look up some of the the substances there. Okay. We we may try and do um maybe a couple more zooms with uh, people who added a lot of provings as well. Yes. So be, we we're trying to organize. I mean, we've been really busy, <laughs> mildly busy, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah it'd be nice to have uh, Peter Tamanelli to um, show us around his. Yeah, work. he was around in the last Zoom. And yeah, and Jeremy as well, and yeah, even Vladimir. I mean, yeah, the pleasure. So um, yeah, with with badger, there's um, so basically let's let's look at the remedy a little bit and show you some of the symptoms that are in the repertory now. So these are some of the delusions and fears um, in the remedy. The badger, of course, is a member of the Mustelidae family that includes weasels, stoats, and otters, and various subspecies are found in a band that stretches from almost the whole west coast of Europe across Europe, Russia, Asia, etc. So yeah, the badger, you know, considering its sort of history and folklore in England, you know, really made sense uh, as a remedy to do approving of. And we have a lot of mammal remedies and a lot of a lot of patients that present with uh, mammal themes to do with, you know, comparing themselves uh, to others, um, you know, issues of like hierarchy, you know, where one sits on the ladder and whether someone's, you know, taking them down a peg or two and how they respond to that. So yeah, it's, an, it's another useful mammal remedy um, that we have. And um, sorry, I was going to say in the book, Celebration of Provings, there's cases as well. And there's cases of badger by Dinesh and by um, Jan Shelton as well. Good old Jan. Yeah. And Jan, you know, by his own admission, doesn't really prescribe animal remedies very much. So, <laughs> And this is from taken from the book, um, where Misha and I looked through all of these remedies and, you know, sort of tried to give like remedy comparisons. So it, it, it compares well to Nux Vomica, uh, particularly, you know, when we look at the polycrests. Um, quite a sort of soric remedy. And the sphere of action, there was a lot of sort of sexual um, symptoms um, that came out in the proving, which is quite common again in um, the mammal remedies. And then we sort of lo looked for the sensations as if type of symptoms. So you get, you know, voluptuous um, as after a carousal, snuggling, you know, again, very mammal, emptiness, clamped, pressing, 
and we sort of tried to find the images as well. So there was a lot of bawdiness and kind of looking at sort of sexualizing uh, people in this remedy during the previewing. It sounded like a fun previewing, to be honest. I was just about to yeah. say, I'm not going to make any comments. But... Yeah. <laughs> so um, when you're in Radar Opus, um, you can search, as you may well know, any remedy um, and look for it through um, Synthesis Adonis. So you can either click on the remedies um, icon at the top and um, just start typing like if you want to, if you don't know what the Latin is for, for badger, just type badger uh, and there it is. Uh, if you click there, you'll open the keynotes page. And from there, you can like search, you know, in the repertory or you can open Google, you can open Google images. Um, so you can kind of get lots of information that way. But mainly you can search. And if I search in the open repertories, I'll look just in Adonis now. You can see there's not so many symptoms in the remedy, 334. And then, of course, if you're well-versed in Radaropus um, techniques, you can right-click on the remedy name. And here you can sort of nuance your search a little bit. Um, you can specify just to remove the plain type symptoms, which works well for <laughs> the polycrests. But for new remedies, it's better often to use this one and specify to find the smaller rubrics, which tends to be more characteristic. So if I change this to less than, it's going to find me rubrics containing the remedy that are like 10, 10 remedies or so. Then I just redo the search. It is a bit fiddly, uh, but it's extremely powerful. I mean, the, the search in general in Redoropus is something that you kind of need to get used to because it's not as intuitive at first, but once you right click, you've got, you know, that's it. Yeah. All the options that you need, basically. Yeah. There are the, this search here, which is the advanced search kind of guides you a little bit more. Um, you don't have to right click there. Um, if you do it here, you sort of type the remedy, press enter twice. And then this blue icon opens the options yeah. for extracting the remedy. So I can do it again here. And you can actually save your searches. So if once you've done it once, you can um, you can save it with the disk icon, and That's then brilliant, isn't and it? then you then, yeah. then you can just recall the search. You don't have to sort of faff around doing it every time. But yeah, a, a feeling of persecution was certainly there, and and this is important, like a, the humility and lowness of others. While he is great, you know, there's a sort of like loftiness in the uh, in the remedy, uh, or benevolence as well. They felt very benevolent, um, you know, fighting for one space, a very animal, very mammal thing, territorial. This is the one, shameless buttocks are desirable. That was the uh, the fun mm. bit of the proving. <laughs> buttocks are desirable. <laughs> I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. How, and, how many uh, people were doing the... Um... The proving yeah. of this, ooh, it was probably about 15. That's um, a good number. But, you know, if you want to check, actually... We've got the that. whole proving in the program too. So oh, brilliant. Click on references, type badger. There it is. Click to open. And these have been um That's handy. They've been coded really nicely with images. Which is difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's There's a... like a nice introduction to mammals written by Peter Fraser. There's really useful information in here. And you can scroll down and, and read the whole thing. Um oh, see the themes. But it, more than that, you don't have to just scroll. If you click here, you can navigate yeah. through the chapters. You can see the rubrics there. You and can... If I can say, I mean, even though I'm not, you know, a trained homeopath, for me, that's what the power of Red Ropus is. Yeah. You know, you can just buy a book and you can read it, but the ability to be able to just go through the sections, get exactly what you need, search in it, is basically mm. why you would want to use the software. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, searching the repertories is one thing. Searching Materia Medica is one thing that Radar Opus does very well, and probably not enough people know, you know, know to use it that way. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, when you have the full provings in the program, it's very powerful. And what we've tried to do with Adonis is to link the provings, especially to to the repertory, once that feature was made available by by our programmers. So yeah, that's a bit of bit of stuff on Badger. If we go back. Open my slides again. 
this is from a case I was working on recently uh, where I have prescribed uh, Badger. Um, and it's quite a, it's a long-term patient who I've prescribed quite a few different remedies to. And eventually I was, you know, convinced by the themes and the language and the presentation of his case that he needed an animal and, and a mammal remedy and um, made this repertorization and saw Badger there. So this, you could only find it in synthesis of, synthesis of donors. Um, so yeah, competitive extravagance, you know, someone who uh, finds themselves spending too much money um loss of memory quarrelsome superstitious you know um doing things like um you know interested in the runes and that sort of thing mm. um and the main issue to, is to do with you know extremities uh, problem within coordination and you can see again there nuts vomica popping up prevalent yeah yeah understandably and uh when you when you so in um since this is Adonis, there's like all the views have been revisited um, and adjusted. So this is looking at the same analysis, but with the family's filter on uh, of the repertory. And you can see, like I've highlighted, milks and mammals have both come through, especially when you consider the competitive nature and also with quarrelsome. So, you know, that helps to back up what, uh, you know, what, what I was thinking. Um, and it also a useful differential. Um, so some of the other groups there, the spiders, um, column five, that refers to Mikhail Yakir's mm. plant table. Yeah, so it has six columns. And column five is the most kind of like choleric, if you like. They're, they're also, um, those remedies as a group are very concerned with hierarchy too. And their place within it. So carbofullerenum was another of the first um, provings that I looked at, and it's a very sort of disturbing proving and a very full proving. Um, and yeah, I think it was the second one that I did. So the Badger one was quite fun. This one was, um, as I say, quite disturbing. Um, in what sense? In the sense that a lot of the dreams were about like um, blood and destruction and mm. the mafia and killing and shooting. Heavy. Um, yeah, heavy, heavy stuff. And it's a remedy that has been used um, a little bit during COVID oh. um, by Jeremy Sher. Interesting. So yeah, this was a pretty intense uh deep dive into into the repertory uh, and this is one where if you search for the italic symptoms you'll get quite a good clear picture of um yeah so the dreams especially you know of blood um color red death you know and uh, it's interesting when you so buckyball is another name for carbofullerenes there it's where carbon um forms a a football shape basically mm. um so it's a i was gonna ask actually because yeah 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 so it's like an allotrope of a bit like diamond mm. mm -hmm. essentially it's pure carbon um and it gets used in sort of quantum physics experiments and they you know basically there's a lot of it in outer space so it has mm. that kind of the remedy has that quality a bit like the person's not you know not really here um a bit you know a little bit like helium and hydrogen mm -mm -mm. Um, and because it's a pure carbon, it's like Misha says in the period, a little bit like the naval gases, you know, unreactive. Um, so yeah. So these are some of the symptoms that Jeremy entered. So you see here, SRJ zero, that means Jeremy Sher clinical, um, confirmation. I should add th that's another thing that we really like having in the repertory. You know, the fact that you can look at this information and know exactly, you know, who it's coming from. Yeah. where it's coming from and that's the added value because sometimes if that information is not there you don't you know you can't really put a value to that information mm -hmm. whereas having the extra info just yeah. gives you that extra bit of you know certainty basically yeah the, the main sort of the key thing in synthesis with that is that um if i open somewhere in the mind uh, i i can confirm it's a hell of a lot more work for us <laughs> yeah it? but it's worth it in the end i mean you know we work to give as much as possible you know, right information, quality, that's... Absolutely. That, that's the other, you know, complete repertory provides the um, source information too, but it's not, you can't sort of view it like this. Um, so it's not so easily um, acceptable to yeah. view. You have to sort of double click, open a new window. And when it's like this, you know, if you're a bit geeky like me, you get to sort of know the author codes. Oh yeah, BG2, that's Boja. You know, this is Bodinghausen. And, you know, 
if you click here, you get to a page where you can um, read up the information, you know, get a little bit of information about Boninghausen. And it's, you know, really useful. I'm <clears throat> struggling to zoom in there, but yeah, you can zoom in and read up on all the different authors too. So, we, yeah. which again, sorry, that, that's another thing that we often say, you know, people start using uh, the software and they just think, oh, I'm just going to go and repertoise. Well, there's so much more in it that you can do from a student point of view, a researcher point of view, because, you know, we start from the, you know, hypothesis that a homeopath is not just a person who's in repertory, he's a person who wants to learn, improve, mm -hmm. you know, get more knowledgeable. So the software is meant to be doing that for you as well. Yeah, it's a pretty like deep learning experience using Radar Opus if you have the time and the sort of um, if you if you just play with it, really, um, you know, so it's not just like there, you know, a lot of people only use it when they are working on a case and they sort of have to work fast. It's like if you can spend a bit of time just playing with it, nurturing your interest in it, it, it will really reward you. Um, so you'll get to know, yeah, sort of get the key to unlock the door um, to the treasure. Yeah. And these are some of the like in in some of these provings, we try to create some new symptoms that, um, you know, really sort of took you into the the weird and wonderful um, experiences of the provers. Like one prover had all these weird visions of like a burrowing machine like shoot or roots that were contaminating the earth and contamination is a big theme mm. here. And, um, you know, it's like a person who has real fear of germs, fear of contamination. Um, you know, that will come up in the repertory now. If you if you put it in, you'll see carbon 60 there. And there's lots of, um, you know, there's lots of like physical symptoms. So it's not just the mind symptoms. If I show you, I can show you exactly how to search for um, a remedy without um, the mind symptoms there. It's really easy. So if I um, clear this search with the eraser. Why would you not want to use? Just so you can see the um, physicals. Oh, okay, okay. So we put carbofullerenum in, and here you just put an exclamation mark and then type mind. Ah, <clears throat> it needs me to do it. So for this, you need to use the, um, the other search tool. Oh, here we go, I've confused it. Let's just clear that. Yeah, Red Rupp is going, ah, help. What are you doing, Luke? Normally, I use this search window, the simple search. And then here, you put an exclamation mark, and you can put it before any word that you don't want the program to find. So that now it will search for carbofullerenum in my repertories, but not mind. See? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. And then I get all the physicals. And then if I want to whittle that down, I can do the same thing. Show me the smaller rubrics, mm. and less than pen, enter twice, and then it shows me all the like strange, more characteristic physicals. And um, there's lots of them because it's very full proving, and we repertorized it very fully. One of the nice things about synthesis is this approach to provings is, um, you know, like quite Kentian, it's like quite liberal with what goes in from provings, and for me, that that's important. It's an added value, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I do think so. And other people will disagree, and that's, you know, that's homeopathy. <laughs> we always disagree because we're all individuals. We are. <laughs> and we try and make people as happy as possible. You know, as, uh, <laughs> do. Yeah, as a general rule, you know, we, yeah, I think we can happily say that at our core, we always have the idea of trying to give as much as possible in the mm. best quality possible and then let the user choose. Yeah, how know, they want to work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it. You can, um, you can filter synthesis to only the clinical confirmation, right? So you don't have yeah. to see the provings. If I go here, click on the views and change it to only clinical, then um, synthesis will update and um, it'll, you know, all of the proving information will be gone then. Yeah. The, 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 the views, which are basically filters are really powerful in that sense because you can really you know choose what you want to see what you don't want to see you can mix and match play with different repertorizations you know and, yeah and you will really see you know the difference yeah i mean um, this is one repertorization here and i've changed the view to clinical i could change it here to only provings and then yeah, just like that result yeah completely different suggestions from the program you know wow fantastic 
Androgynous, mm. the Scorpion coming up. Oh yeah, or you can adjust the classic author, or you know, just yeah. I can uh, go here to a really conservative, reliable sources only. Yeah, the garlic one. Yeah, see the polycrats. You, you can do. You can, yeah, it's immediate. You know, yeah. the, the um the changes. The, yeah, the remedies that you see. You know, you and you can choose here just the families too. So this is interesting. You see um, a lot of miasms coming up in this one. So tubercular, syphilitic, and leprous, because we've got this despair of recovery and destructiveness in this repertorization. So it's just, it's all about um, giving you options, you know, offering you um, suggestions. That's what the repertory is for mm. in my practice. It's not to give me an answer. It's to, it's, you know, almost to ask questions with and to get suggestions from. Yeah, I would agree. And I've, I've heard a few times, even people within the team, you know, you know, homeopathic, you know, homeopaths in the team say that they would do this, and then maybe they would use a couple of modules, yeah, and they would look at it from another point of view and just go, okay, different answers, different ideas, um, and then basically make your, you know, choice based on that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It kind of gives you hints, doesn't it? Yeah, you kind of look at it from different, yeah, points of view. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's what it's good for. So you can see, you know, if you look at the images that we extracted from the proving you know mafia terrorism rape murder blood extremists you know savage beatings really a lot of this coming Maybe. from the dream world so yeah it's just someone who's uh, not had a pleasant life will need this remedy and it's not been used very much and um i'm kind of glad <laughs> yeah well, i bet i was gonna yeah. say forget one of those yeah it's kind of in the same ballpark as positronium you know another one of misha's provings that um, you know, has been in wider use. But, you know. Did, did you expect all of this stuff to be in the Donuts at the beginning? No. I, rem- I was going to say, because I remember when, when you started working with Frederick and the team, it was sort of, you know, a little bit at the time. And then in the end, you know, there was yeah a lot. Yeah, know? yeah. Um, my, my log file, which um, went to the team in Ghent, was in the end 60,000 editions. So um, pretty, pretty, a lot of work. Yeah, it would be like saying is. Mountain Everest worth, you know, <laughs> arrived in <laughs> big <Yeah>. sacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks pre- a lot of work. And um, I'll, I'll try and go a bit quicker now um, through some of these remedies because I want to sort of show you the different types of work that I did. So um, this is the mole, which is also in synthesis. <clears throat> some of its symptoms from the delusions that he's hated and hunted, forsaken. The mole is interesting because the mole... Um, of all the mammals has like a heck of a lot of testosterone. It's not Ooh, like that. that cute picture we see from the like children's, um, you know, even the women, even the female moles have a lot of testosterone hmm. and they just work, 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 basically Feisty. digging all the time. So that energy came through, um, you know, of like, Room. yeah. And again, like, like Nux Vomica, there's this extreme boundless energy and enthusiasm focus for the task at hand some of the previous loved it because they were so focused on their on their work mm, so it was clear yeah but yeah the other side which you comes across in animals a lot feeling dirty feeling worthless abandoned um so this is coming from misha um every situation that comes up makes them question if they've done it right or if they have wronged another person as with all mammal remedies there are maternal issues around birth breastfeeding and nurturing dreams of being pregnant. So yeah, another useful mammal remedy for for us to use. And these are some of the physicals, like a stitching pain of needles thrust into the eyeball, even the loss of vision there, look, hemiopia, Mm. Um, cutting pains, pain as it squeezes, paroxysmal pains. So you'll find these symptoms by doing that search I showed you, simple search for the remedy, exclamation mark then mind and then look for the smaller rubrics you know get better yeah. you'll see them all so this is passa domesticus the house sparrow um another you know very full proving that has um quite a lot of symptoms in fact we released this quite a long time ago to people using synthesis via a log file oh yeah so you might have already had this in your treasure edition um so it's one where you know again you can look at the italic symptoms to get a good idea so this need to be respected was a big theme, you know, a feeling of almost nobility or greatness on the other side being sort of accused or punished. And it has a kind of defiant, pugnacious energy 
in uh, in the sparrow. So you know we, we we're used to we're accustomed to remedies like eagle and falcon who have that really embody that nobility. Uh, sparrow is more like the plucky underdog, you know. Um, so yeah, a great sensitivity to being dishonored came through with this remedy. And again, lots of physical symptoms, so you can find it that way. And I only just recently heard um, uh, from a school in Mumbai where they're, um, they've been pres prescribing this remedy a lot. Um, so it'd be interesting to see their results Ooh. and um, yeah, to see those cases and to understand more about Sparrow. So here are some of the, you know, the more characteristic physical symptoms. Again, cramping, mm. breathing, so pain in the abdomen that hinders breathing. Um, yeah, quite a lot of abdominal pains. And, you know, symptoms in the larynx and trachea of constriction or of a foreign substance that as though it had dropped into the larynx. Clothes are too tight. Mm. Um dreams uh, of killing animals or protecting animals of bomb threats of cats of children in danger and you know like a lot of the birds the miasm we can say is probably tubercular and because of this need to be um sort of appreciated and honored you get things like calc uh platina coming through in similar remedies and lac leonine even so who would have thought lion and sparrow would come up in the same uh, symptoms, mm. right? Pretty wide, huh? Yeah. And some of the sensations, um, so pulsating, fizzing, buzzing, twitching. You know, it's a small bird, so it probably has some similarity to, there's a remedy made from hummingbird, for example. Um, so probably, you know, that kind of hyper energy is there when you look here. And the other side, paralyzed heavy concrete some of the images you know dirt sticky messy maggots slugs and insects so it's one it's an uh, it's a more of an earthy kind of bird it's sort of they love living in our in and around human beings don't they? yeah yeah, yeah they do they're, they're very sociable yeah this is a remedy um so a fish remedy of herring um jeremy Sher has been working on this he he said that he wanted to do make a kind of monument to to Misha after he died and it got his dynamist students to work on this proving you know a la jeremy so mm -hmm. it'll be very interesting to see jeremy's very thorough yeah i mean very thorough. most people should know this but for those who don't jeremy's provings are just thorough precise like he okay. he does really a, you know a really precise long job on the proving amazing work yeah um, yeah. So yeah, we really appreciate the work that it does in that sense. Absolutely. And uh Victoria Nemet. Yeah, Victoria. Um, she's done this, you know, the book on, on fish. And we'll so, hope to have that in soon. Yeah, nice. And it's an interesting new group that we're learning more about. And you can see here, even in Synthesis Adonis, we've added some um rubrics for fish as a group. Um yeah. So, you know, and Joe Evans was the one who sort of really kicked off the Materia Medica in terms of looking at the mollusks and the sea invertebrates. So these are some of the main symptoms for the fish. You know, tranquility or torpor or withdrawal from reality. It's interesting. And a lot of like memory and, and confusion of mind, you know, which, you know, makes sense when you think of goldfish, for example. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's move on a bit. Can I just ask, just yeah. for the out of interest, do you have any particular memories when you were doing the you know provings, you know, like a funny memory or just something that you know unusual? Because so, you know, you know, yeah. not everyone gets to do provings. You've done no. quite a lot, so you know, I think sometimes people wonder. I've done them, yeah, recently, and um, I am not the best prover. I have to admit, no, um, okay. but the well, it's some people are more sensitive than others, basically. Mm. Uh, and when you're when you're sort of running the proving, you're kind of you you know, you, you know, you know like what it is as well. Um, whereas all of the group, the students don't know, and they're also in a group together. So mm. the group field effect seems to um, you know affect them quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But the one the the one remedy that had quite a strong effect, and it was just before 
my son was like a month before Jasper was born mm. that I did a proving of um, swordfish, which we haven't published yet, but there was a horrible throat symptom like there was something lodged in there Ooh. for like three days. I was like, oh, and is this going to go? <laughs> and other people had it as well. Interesting. Uh, it's quite a, that was an intense proving. And then, you know, three my son was born time. and then that was really intense. <laughs> yeah, too. Just was like, two yeah. intense months. Yeah, yeah really intense. Note yeah. stuff, don't do provings before your first no, time. You know, my any wife, children are going to be born. My wife thought I was crazy. Too, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bit on the line. Yeah. And lots of uh, respiratory stuff in this uh, proving of herring, but with these ones that I repertorized, I suppose you get a, you get a real flavour mm. of the proving, even though you didn't take part. Mm -mm -mm. Some that you enjoy doing more, like I said, Obviously. badger was fun, whereas carbofilarinum was like. I was going to say, yeah, dark. if it's a heavy proving, inevitably you're yeah. Do you, yeah. you, you, you ever get people who you know kind of come in, do the proving, and then are like, I'm never doing this again? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, don't want to know you. Don't, you know, yeah, I'm done with this. It can leave an impression for quite a long time for yeah. people. Yeah, and the swordfish did. Um, yeah, for some people, even, mm. even a year later. Wow, not, really? Not feeling back to themselves entirely, wow. which is it's so fascinating that, you know, that the experience and taking one last 130 C yeah. can have that effect for some people. So it just goes to show that like, human beings are not like one homogenous group. Totally. Everyone's like so individual, and that's at the level of potency as well as the level of the remedy mm. uh, for some for one person the 30c can really do like miraculous things for a long period of time for another mm. person they need to take 30c oh. every day yeah, yeah yeah for like weeks and weeks you know yeah yeah so um i'm gonna i'm gonna sort of skip some of these slides i'm yeah. a little bit aware of the time um but if you're interested uh contact me and i can share the presentation with you if you want a more sort of in-depth guide to some of these new remedies so I also wrote a book. Um, this is before I became a dad. Um, when and, you had time, uh, when I had some time, <laughs> yeah. After the after I finished the course, I wrote this book. It's been published with Solta, um, who are lovely people. Yeah, good guy. Thank you to them. Another family business. So basically, um, when I was working on the book, if I came across a remedy that was interesting and I wanted to write about, I repertorized it a little bit as well in Radar Opus. Um, so Firefly was a really interesting one. Uh, it's a proving by Canadian guy, Marty Begin. Uh, and what I found was that the proving was like really interesting and there was a case in there, but it, it hadn't been like structured in uh, perhaps the best way. So I feel like this remedy has gone under the radar a little bit. But yeah, it's a very interesting insect remedy. It's actually a beetle, the firefly. That? Yeah. That's interesting. I'm, yeah. I never thought of that. So it's in the family with um, Cantharis and uh, Ladybird is also a beetle. So some of the you know, remedies we have. And um, what you can see here, the purpose of this slide is to show you how in Radar Opus Now and Instances, you can find um, links between the repertory and the Materia Medica, which is, you know, that's the way we really need to go um, in order to make our um, work really transparent. You know, it's like these, you know, these are the symptoms. This is where it came from. Here's a link. Um, so. If we look at delusions possessed being, everything goes slow when you're zooming. Always, unless yeah, yeah. you've got a supercomputer. Um, delusions, I've got them what it was now. Possessed. Mm. So if I go to that symptom, you can see, yeah, Mancinella is the main remedy, right? But also now we have the Solanaceae family. Um, which if you hover over it in the latest version, gives you a list of the remedies, which is very nice. Mm. Uh, and here, if there's a symptom with an underlined author, it means you can link to the proving. And you'll see quite a lot of these, um, especially in the new rubrics. And you see here, there's the, the bit of the proving where it comes from. And if you click on it and you've got that proving in your um so your medical library you go into it and so you can read it and then you can see which which additions were made um and so if you know if you disagree you can contact us and we can sort of you know we can improve our work by being transparent in this way and it also means okay oh let's go and look at this symptom and see what's there and you know you're sort of being moved around the program in a in a really nice way and you know in a way that's quite unique, really, to... I was just about to say, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think that's 
Yeah, we have so buffering. many good provings in the program, and that's that's why we're able to you know repertorize provings to you know to a really high high level. Mm. So yeah, this is the Firefly. It's in uh, it's called Lamprohesa splendidula. It's in synthesis Adonis. There's a few hundred symptoms. Most of them are linked to the proving itself. Okay, so this is the new way. You see here, everything's underlined pretty much, and some of the more interesting symptoms there for the remedy. It's mm. a remedy I've used and had good results with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're going to be an insect, being a firefly is, would be nice. Good it? insect. Yeah, yeah. A bit nicer it's than a cool being, insect, being yeah. a cockroach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. What's your remedy? Cockroach. I'm cockroach. Oh, yeah. A rabbit was another one. Um, so there's a good proving um, by a group up in Sheffield of rabbit's blood. And I was like, well, there's no symptoms. So I repertorized it, um, which was fun. Uh, so, yeah, you know, nymphomania. Mm. We all know how rabbits survive. Mm -hmm. Lots of sex. And this was a remedy that during the proving, um, one of the provers um, ovulated at the wrong time and got pregnant. No way. So actually, like... Seems wow. to affect um, her cycle and when she was ovulating. Yet another reason for me never to be invited. To <laughs> <one of the laughs> That's it. Not not that I can ovulate personally, but you know, no, <laughs> no. But it it you know it's one of these remedies, a bit like um, salmon, has become yeah. a remedy to help with fertility. Yeah. Um, so rabbit is um, one that's a potential to think about as well. Mm. So yeah, thoughts about lovers, sociable, you know. Mm. So these are some of the. Uh, bold metallic symptoms and these are some of the smaller symptoms in the female chapter i see here ovulation early lots of pain around the menses during or beginning lots of effects here on the menses alligator this is a proving by todd rowe who mm. does all the um, desert remedies they're amazing provings mm. um really good we have a lot of those available inside radar opus 2 so just click on references type row look <laughs> yeah loads you can get loads and they're really high quality good work uh so alligator um was one that it was one where um i looked i was doing it for the book and then i had a patient who i was like oh now i you know he was definitely a reptile um in the case um you know i won't share the details but um it was like it was interesting to be able to prescribe alligator rather than a snake just because it fitted um fitted the case so well and again here you see links are made directly in the materia medica text in the proving of radar opus that's handy it's really and i can yeah. see that yeah you know you just click on it you get that extra information you understand where you're at and basically yeah yeah, it's definitely a level up from just having, you know, rubrics that aren't attached to the proving itself. Mm. And, you know, we could do this with cases, ideally, as well. Mm. You know? And, you know, that's what clinical should become for me is like, you can upload the case, and then someone else can repertorize the case, or you can do it too. And yeah, then, then we yeah. get more clinical confirmation as well. Yeah, we just need as many people as possible to use it, basically. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this you know anger with tendency to destroy things, um, being attacked, not being safe. This is a lot of the reptile themes coming up there. Dragonfly. This is approving by Melanie Grimes. You know, it was one again that I came across during my writing of Animalia, and took took it upon myself to repertorize it too. So um, these are some of the sort of strange, very peculiar symptoms, like uh, you know delusions that they've descended into the reptilian brain or that they have two brain one opposing the other you know it's like i don't quite know what to make of it yet it's not a remedy that i've prescribed mm. yet but um there we go and this is you know again showing you the materia medica with the links to synthesis which go both ways don't it yeah so you, yeah. it's both ways exactly so if i go to general's sudden manifestation I will see that remedy. So it's, um, let's see then, it's dragonfly, analagma, E, or is it? There it is. Mm. And then the, you can see the author's underlined. Then mm. I can get to the text from there. 
Brilliant. Yeah. This is a really interesting preview by Jason Eric Hunica, um, lovely guy, and he's you know producing very high quality previews. This is of the common loon, uh, a remedy yeah. that I have prescribed, and yeah, it's the one that has that really distinctive call. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. really haunting, which you've been um, practicing on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. This it's a bit like um, Cygnus. Some of you may know Jeremy's proving of the Hooper Swan, uh, where grief is a big part of it. So um, when you have sort of bird themes and grief in the case, you can think of water birds, and the loon should come up for you now in Adonis as well as um, Cygnus. Thanks to you, Jason Eric, and thank you, Jason. Yeah. So this is his proving. You can see how he lays it out, and he he likes to make things you know super clear. Uh, in terms of the themes and what was strong in the in the proving so mm. his proving again is available in, and lots of his work is available in radar opus mm. helium was one that i was asked to do you know been sitting there for quite a long time and you know i really went to town on this proving it's a very lots of um provers several different groups were involved in it and it's a very complete proving mm. so um it's one that I, you know, that I enjoyed doing and did in a very complete way. And, you know, it's not to like, um, you know, sort of uh, criticize what um, complete have done with it. But if you see here, um, there's 435 uh, rubrics uh, for helium. But um, <clears throat> a lot of those rubrics come from um, like even in, in the complete, what they've done is they've put the kingdom um, you see here and the associations and lots of other things that aren't actually symptoms are part of the total. So when you clear all mm. of those things, there's 290 rubrics uh, for helium, which is quite small. And if you look at the physicals here, like there's no detail, basically, there's, you know, a, again, I understand the philosophy of the repertory is different and it has Very, stuff yeah. that we don't have, you know, that's just the way it is. And, you know, use both. Why not? You know, you get different results, you get different suggestions. Mm. Um, but it's just to show the how the approach was different for us. 1,542 symptoms. <clears throat> and a lot of those, um, well, this, well, that isn't the full total, actually, because this is without mind and dreams. So this is wow. just the physicals um, of helium. So uh, it's you've got a much better chance of, of seeing it. And every one of those is linked. You couldn't do it with every proving, but, you no, know, but like like I said, Jeremy's provings are very high quality. Helium is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. And um, yeah, and we, we sort of understand it from Scholten's work on the periodic table. The mm. noble gases is a group, a very interesting group. Um, helium's the first one. So it made sense to apply the extra effort. And, you know, yeah, so Marco has to open the purse strings and say, you go, Luke. <laughs> you can literally spend a whole twenty-four hours. Off you go. Of only doing additions. Yeah, no, it's, you know? it's nuts. Yeah, it is basically enough this work is, for uh, a lifetime. Yeah, exactly. So you can see the bit of Materia Medica there and all the different um, links that were made. Mm. Yeah. There's a question. Oh, uh, yeah. When might Red Rovers and Complete start working together? Both are genius, but we homopaths can't afford to buy both. <laughs> Julek, I totally understand you. Uh, very honestly, uh, I've spoken um, with yeah. the author several times and asked if he wanted to have the, you know, the repertory back because we have no problem. I mean, for us, it wouldn't be a problem to have it in um, our program. He has told me on several occasions that he didn't want to do it because it would have given us some kind of uh, competitive advantage over other companies because we are the only ones who have you know, synthesis. So if we have both, then his fear was that other companies would not be able to do mm. the, the same. Yeah. From our point of view, we always said, we don't think it's the same thing really, because I mean, what we want to do is just give people a chance. So my suggestion would be write to him and ask, because we don't have a problem. Mm. Uh, if you want to give it and, you know, mm. uh, allow us to have it in, that's fine. So, so uh, one of the other jobs that I gave myself was um, going through synoptic reference and looking up the, because, you know, Vermeulen, it's, a, it's such an amazing book. I use it all the time. And uh, he, he sort of has these codes. You see here K, and it says in the intro what it means, and it means that it's a Lou Klein clinical 
uh, edition. So I looked for all of the Klein and Mangiolavori editions mm. and sort of generally the more contemporary editions that are in synoptic reference because they weren't in the repertories yet. And then I added them. So that's one of the other things you get. So here we've got absinthe and, you know, these are uh, editions coming from Klein and now they're in synthesis. Um, some others here for Arania Ixobola, a spider. And here from Mangiolavori. Now we have a lot of Mangiolavori's um, uh, editions anyway in Adonis mm. because he was generous enough to give us uh, everything and said, yeah, please integrate it. So, you you know, if you want Massimo's work in your repertory, Adonis is certainly, you know, and Suggesta are the places to get it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and Lacaquinum here, some examples of new rubrics added based on the synoptic reference. And in general... Oh, I've, sorry, uh, there was another question. Oh, yeah. Saying, how do you check for these specific authors? For the authors, what you have to do is... Um, Go to synthesis, look at a rubric, and make sure you've got the author thing on. So this little icon here is for the authors to be shown, or you can press space bar and that cycles through the options. And then you just hover the mouse and you see here this uh, symptom came from Franz Mullen. This one comes from SANE, clinical confirmation. Whenever there's a zero after the author reference code, then it means it's clinical. SRJ21 is the proving of helium. Because it's underlined, you can click on it and go to that specific symptom. Even open the proving if you have it, which, by the way, doesn't cost very much. Mm. And the proceeds go to HHA, which is the project set up for Africa. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Definitely worth getting. Well, yeah, worth and, getting. And we do the, the bundles as well. We can just buy it a whole load together. Yeah, it's not it's not that much money really yeah. to add provings. Um, or when yeah. you consider how long it's taken them to do the, the work. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Taking them to do the work and then uh, for us to codify it, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it for the good of America. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. There is, uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, who was it? Uh, Julek, forgive me, I hadn't seen the second question. Uh, back on Adonis and complete, mm. uh, said, well, if Adonis shared all of its data with complete repertory, as much as complete repertory sharing of it, say that we don't know. So um, I can tell you what I know, okay, consider that I've been working, you know, with the company for about nine years now. So from what I, I was told back in the days, Frederick Scorins spoke uh, with Roger to try and work together. But the only way to do that was for Roger to actually work with the same um, precision and standardization that we had. The same, re they both use different remedy abbreviations. Completely. And, and so, that would be a problem. Yeah, yeah, so basically Fred said, look, I'm, I'm happy to do this, but can you do it our way? And mm -hmm. he didn't want to. For personal reasons, I mean, you know, it, it would have enough. been a lot more work for Roger yeah. because oh. it's a massive work that we do compared to his because of the precision and, you know, how we structure it. So just, just changing all of the remedy abbreviations in your work would be yeah. like massive. Yeah. So but it, yeah, other people have asked, like Jeremy has asked that yeah. we, it shouldn't be down to a repertory editor to decide um, what yeah. the abbreviations are used. But um, yeah, it should be standardized. Yeah. Kind of but that is what Frederick tries to do, to be fair. Yeah. So, and he yeah. tries that precision. And, and also, I, I would say, I mean, you should ask both authors, but I, I wouldn't say personally that uh roger's answer was like negative it probably just saw the amount of work and thought i, can't I just think do there, this. there's no, such not... different repertories anyway yeah. uh to try and like combine them all i think it'd be it'd be harder because the philosophy behind mm. each one is so different you extremely know, synthesis extremely. is more kentian and um uh completes more boninghausen and both are so useful in their own rights to try and combine them all i, I, make, I, I think I th yeah i, I think, think it would just be a work. mess yeah but, uh, but i mean yeah surely if he decides to uh you know, ever put, put it back in uh, mm. um, softer, then of course, best of both would be great. Um, mm. And if not, anyway, I'm sure that, you know, yeah, you can rent our program on one side and you can you use can rent for complete free. dynamics. You can browse yeah. complete dynamics for free. Yeah, I mean, both, you know, both programs have that ability. So without spending yeah. too much money, you could easily use both. You can and, use both these days. I don't yeah, think it's is. an or, you know, it's an and, and kind of equation, yeah. if you ask me. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, the lanthanides were missing in, in synthesis. So that was another job that I took on. And so part of that is adding them as a group, as you can see here. So that, you know, as a family in the repertory. 
Um, you know, here are some of the physicals, which Jan writes about in his book. And then we've got some, uh, you know, of the actual remedies have been repertorized as remedies mm -hmm. too. So the lanthanides are now um, well integrated in synthesis. Mm. Uh, sorry, Maurizio was asking, uh, his question was different. Is there a way to check from the library? The, uh, to search uh, for an author? Yeah. Not yet, no. No, it would be super useful, and it is on the list, um, yeah, on the massive bucket list of things that we would Yeah, Maurizio, like. if you have time and you want to dedicate for <laughs> just call us <laughs> and come and give us a hand. It's yeah. plenty of work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a very useful feature, that. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just... So Fred's, uh, Fred's also showed some of these examples where, um, you know, vulnerability, something that will come up a lot in cases these days, um, was really lacking. So in Treasure Edition, that's what it looked like. You do, you were just referred to other symptoms. In Adonis now, you have a very full um, rubric. Yeah, mostly of contemporary provings because that's where the language has come up. But, uh, you know, potentially very useful. Um, and if you combine it with the cross-references here, uh, you'll build up a very good full picture of that, you know, that sensation, that feeling. Um, other new rubrics, the feeling of uh, being protected or wanting protection or security um, was one that was lacking. If you see here from Treasure Edition, there were five remedies in that rubric. Now there are 56, including families like the mollusks, the insects, the cactus family animals too okay starting to go a bit quicker now because we've been gassing a lot but that's what we're here for really it's meant to be you know just some nice informal chat so please do ask us your questions so this rubric i found um it, the tendency to become addicted you know it was kind of tied in with alcoholism you, you just had to go to um well look here in the old repertory one remedy in that rubric which is which is crazy, just carcinosin. Um, so what I did was to search in the whole radar Rufus database for anything to do with addiction from cases, from provings, uh, and added them all. Um, so now you can, you can, you know, of course you can cross-reference alcoholism and add that too, but you can also look just at um, addiction in its own right. And you see here amethyst immersion, that's one of Tominello's um additions from his provings and obviously it's you know he's used it clinically a lot and hence the, that it's bold type and the only remedy there in bold um a case desire for space you know you can see here that homeopathic links has been referenced quite a lot mm. and the american homeopath so we have journals in the library too and there's more um, on those as well there that's yeah the there's a lot of good cases from those journals yeah. which i was keen to integrate into synthesis so i think we have the largest digitalized um, yeah i think so i think so you know and reference works is also very big yeah um but yeah those are the two big ones so yeah desire for space you know goes with freedom and independence something that comes up a lot um in cases these days and in the old version, only one remedy, yeah? So now, since this is only 74 remedies compared to one in Treasure Edition. Resentment was one that um, was just um, had uh, referral rubrics there. But I thought resentment comes up so much. Um, so I did a search for resentment in the whole database and added everything that I could find, okay? These are just some examples, yeah. Uh, feeling of inad inadequacy. Um, so in the old treasure edition, one remedy, now 63, a lot of them with links to the journals and to the uh, provings from where those sources were found, yeah. Shameful, here you see the psychotic miasm in bold, mammal remedies in italics, some other families in plain type, and then the remedies. And again, you can see here loads of underlined author links showing you exactly where they come from. And even if you don't have them in your library, you'll still see the um, like source information page come up. So um, that's a nice little gift for you. And again, in Treasure Edition, seven remedies were there. Okay, so it's a big, big update, yeah? Up to 82. 
this is like you know basically if you don't have the like full database like you know the dealers have this is a brilliant way to access that information through synthesis adonis and you get little snippets from the provings so it's a real like great thing and if you have treasure edition you know it's not very expensive to update mm. to adonis this is an example where i was like okay let's look at the um, affinities rubrics and went through again synoptic reference for you know in synoptic reference the way it's structured he gives you the affinities first and so i found everything that was listed for digestion or gastrointestinal and just added it to the gastrointestinal <laughs> complaints which now stands at 246 compared to 38 before yeah, all from all, all of those editions are from the synoptic reference. By the way, I, I should add because some people were asking about find the program. If you don't own Red or Opus, but you want to give Adonis a go, uh, if you just um, go to our website, redoropus.com, and just download the demo, you get 15 days free, the full whack, and it will include Adonis. So you can just have a play. Yeah. Um, you know, see what it's like. Yeah. Um, it's you know, it's easy enough to do. Yeah, yeah. You just get, head to the uh Beta Opus website and um it's free information, you know, download demo. It's uh, you go demo, open this page. It's and, remember uh, it's fairly large okay. as a um, um you know yeah, file some... because you are literally getting everything, everything that we have. So thousands and thousands of books, repertories, the the, the full mm, the full what so yeah. yeah. But these days, computers are quite fast. And the installer goes yeah. in like 20 minutes for a fast computer. So yes. here's the example of respiratory complaints up to 163 compared to 65. Okay. Just some examples here of, um, you know, work that I did using journals. So I found an interesting case of lac caprinum, goat's milk. Um, it was a case, I think it was Keith Dam, uh, the guy who did the proving. Um, so you can see here some symptoms, new symptoms with links to, sorry, to the journal. So yeah, just like lots more information now in Adonis, especially in the mind chapter. Yeah, it's huge now, isn't it? It's yeah. Yeah. And we'll get to, you know, looking at some more examples in, in, in a moment. Oh, and by the way, someone was asking if it was ever going to be printed. I already answered, but <laughs> it would be impossible. Like printing right. since it's Adonis. Like maybe just print the like, mind chapter. Right? Yeah, it would be like five Bibles, basically. <laughs> you just could not physically uh, print that. And uh, the families thing, you know, yeah, it divides the community. Some people are really not into it, but others um, are really up for exploring this. Um, basically, in the latest version of um, the program, which we're testing now, there's an option to just um, completely hide the families, no matter what view you're using. So you can click here on the um, preferences pane, go to remedies and authors, and at the, here you can now don't display families, which of course you know I wouldn't want to do because I find it very useful. But that is now a possibility. So for those of you who are not into that, you don't have to use it. So I started by looking at you know Sankaran schema and starting to kind of make additions from there. Um, looking at the sensations of plants <clears throat> and then, I, you know, and the miasms and the uh, the mineral columns and the mineral rows, all of those you'll find in um, synthesis of donors. So, you know, if we look here, it's the, the delusion of being trapped. You can see like aves, which is the birds come up really high. Drosseraceae makes sense considering what happens um, to the fly in that equation. Um, gemstones, we know that there's a feeling there of being trapped as the, you know, being trapped sort of almost like the gemstone itself is, um, and, you know, etc. So you can see, I just got a few more examples here. If we look at the symptom exhilaration, you've got the labiatiae, which is the mint family, um, and the drug remedies, alcohol as a group, the piperaceae. You know, also very well known for that, um, you know, stimulation, the spices, basically. Uh, if we look at violent, you know, the animals are, you know, bold and underlined and lots of other groups coming through. So you can even um, use synthesis as a like family's repertory just by itself. So if I go to 
mind section and here change the view to um, only families what it will do is just show me the symptoms um, that have families in and if I just remove the tags for a moment um, you can see here that basically you can scroll through the whole repertory just looking at the family. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, no, nothing else can do can do that. Yeah, I was going to say that was a pretty new. Yeah. Well, of course, you may have people who don't like families or don't want families, but at least, you know, it's there. Yeah, I mean, look and at it's, this. Uh, you know, it's, it's incredible it's that you new. can, like, just browse a repertory just looking at family <clears throat> information now. No, Yeah, <laughs> there's no other way to do it. This is really interesting. And it's so, because a repertory is so good for differentiating, doing like a differential diagnosis. You know, you look at the rubric and you see which remedies are there and you say, oh yeah, lycopodium's there because of this, sulfur's there because of that. Now you can do that looking at families. So you look at desires, creative activity. Row five, we know from Scholten that creativity, uniqueness, making something new is a theme as it is for the Rubiaceae. So yeah, you may know that and you may well have studied that, but now you've got this real like direct hint. It's like, oh yeah, it's not just row five because um, you might've just been saying in your mind, oh yeah, it's creative, it's row five. No, it's the Rubiaceae too, the spiders, the butterflies, you know, all of these other groups that have- you know, Just meant to help you, give you hints. Just hints. give you. Yeah, it, it's like opening a mind map, isn't it? You just yeah. go more information, more hint, more things you can think of. Yeah, i.e., hopefully a better, you know, better remedy yeah. to prescribe. That's it. Or you may well have prescribed, you know, the the remedy that's most well known for it and not got a very good result. So you think, yeah, you yeah, that's think gonna, outside yeah. the box. And remember on that, uh, because we often get asked, there is a really cool feature on the representation, which is the hide remedies mm. function. Yeah, yeah. So basically, if you prescribe something to someone and it didn't work you can use representation and just hide what you prescribed mm -hmm. and then maybe you could look at families you know that's that. it yeah and then it becomes yeah. super interesting yeah so when you've got the view set like this in the repertory when you open an analysis it will also show you what what view you're using so in this case it's showing me this analysis with uh, the families shown this was the case where i prescribed garvia imma and if you see here water element and birds have both come through so for the grief it's the water element and for the you know this physical symptom pain in the thoracic very well known one for burn remedies um so looking at that um through the prism of the families um it sort of can take you to um, a lesser known remedy like that whereas here you know a more conventional repertorization you would never see yeah yeah the potential is... for Garvia Imma yeah from that you see yeah 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 it just it depends I guess how open-minded you are to yeah you know if, if you want to stay super classical you can it's really easy you've got yeah. the limitation if you want to open it up a little bit more now you've got yeah you know, huge area of tools yeah yeah some cases um you know are just you know they're they're solvable with classical tools absolutely and that's great was, you know but i would say not every case no not in my in my limited experience you know? yeah so yeah that's the family side it's it's a bit of big work farouk also um farouk, yeah was put a lot of additions in there thank you farouk yeah thank you you know as if he wasn't busy enough already yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah these are some um you know just some yeah teasers if you like so we'll carry on um you know this is just another quick example this is isn't even from a case just you know to show you what can happen when you change filter same repertorization with the filter yeah, look at that completely different spiders and orchids come through in the main with the psychotic bias in there too. and and remember it's that quick you literally did repertorization mm. change the option you know it'll mm -hmm. take you two and a half to three seconds to do this yeah so yeah so here's the repertorization with full view. All I have to do is go here, click, change to families. Boom. And then it changes. It's immediate. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's just... Uh... So the next stage is, is having it easier to sort of go from this to see themes of the families if you're not well acquainted with that. And... Um, I guess we've talked family. about different, yeah, the family finder for sure. I was just going to say, you, you yeah. could also use the family finder. 
yeah from Anna Vivark. Definitely, which Anna Vivark's work is really, really, really good. Yeah, it's so, like yeah. a nice extra, you know. If you wanted to look up Pisces, that's in the family finder, yes. Yeah. So you go up to search, open the family finder. Normally you type a keyword first, but you can type here family, Pisces, enter. There we go. Click on Zoom. There's her themes, you know, so very distilled um, for Pisces. But the other thing you can do, you know, just in Adonis is to um, click on remedies because the families have been added as remedies, remember? Mm. Type Pisces. Right click, search in open repertories. And it'll do yeah. a search extraction for you. And the magic happens. Yeah. A bit slowly because we're zooming. But uh, then we see all the rubrics that have been added there. And then if you do question mark, um, exclamation mark mind, then. Yeah, then you would. Yeah, and there might not be very that much many, yeah, in yeah. terms in this one. But yeah. for some of the better known ones, like spiders and snakes, there's a lot um, not in mind. Mm. Um, yeah, I was going to say the other thing we, we've been talking about, you know, what are the best ways to, um, you know, to sort of make the themes more available for the families. And one of the things you can do and that I've started doing is to open your personal chapter in uh, yeah. uh, Adonis and That's you can do visual. whatever you want in here. And it's, it's um, yeah, it's super useful actually. Like here you can see I've started adding keynotes to of families here. And if I show you the tags, you can see I've just added like web links. So if I click here, I've got something I uploaded. On um, the website, yeah. Yeah, I'll just wait for it to load. There we go. The Anacard ACA themes. If I click here, it'll open another page, Wikipedia. If I click here, another page. Yeah, sort of like um, the cure. shortcuts, basically. Yeah. Just, yeah to, to get all the information it's that you need. Like an index to anything online that you want, basically. So this, when it eventually opens, would be the Cure website of Jan Scholten with the Anacard AC. Yeah, you can basically build your own thing. Yeah, a repertory is an index at the end of the day. So that's what you can do with this. Yeah, that saves automatically, doesn't it? Like yeah. you don't have to do it. Yeah, yeah you just yeah. close and it will. That's saved now. And um, yeah. you can you can add these flags as well. And so, you know, I've added some of the main bold symptoms of the animals there to a flag. So when you're using the additions like that, you click on additions, then you add a symptom note, basically. Mm. So you can add remedies to synthesis. You can add symptoms to synthesis. You can add notes. You can add yeah. links. Um, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Have we got a little training video on that? We've got a couple of things not adding remedies. But I There's a thing on the personal chapter that, um, yeah, it's, it's a Was bit of a moment. No, I did it. Oh, you did it, okay. So here's, it's opened one of the maps that I made. If you go back to the personal chapter, you click here, it'll take you to the page, which has a sort of, you know, just some, gives you some ideas for what you can do in the personal chapter. Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I did remember there was something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you just follow this, then you kind of, you know, you got to head start. That's the video. Oh, look, yeah. that's Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Looking hairy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, it. yeah, but basically with, with that page, you've got enough information to start building your own personal chapter. Exactly. Basically. Yeah, you can do what you want in here. You can, um, you know, you can put family stuff in, you can put remedies in, you could put old proving, you know, you could do, um, like here, you see I've got some Terry Medica quotes. Like if I was going to teach sulfur, I could get all of my quotes for sulfur, put them in that's my personal cool. chapter. Ah, so that's useful for teachers as well. Yeah, then. yeah. Because you can, because I had um... it's like bookmarks in a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, here I've got my map of Mundi stuff, mm. so I can you know click there and like open um, the map that I've put on my website. Yeah, you know, like that. Boom. So it's really, really powerful, actually. It can't make you coffee in the morning, but yeah, it's close to. Yeah. The other thing I've done, because some of you may know that I've made a thematic repertory, and what I've done here is to um, use the cross-references to, like, recreate the thematic mm. repertory, but using the new information of Adonis. Ah, so what okay. you can do is create all the cross-references you want, and then if I just um, clear my clipboards there, um, using the take button, 
click the little drop down array, click take and specify the options. Then here, where it says take cross references, combine them all in one rubric. And then just like that, you've combined all of these cross references into oh. one big symptom, which has everything in it. So a lot of the time in the mind section, mm. rubrics have similar meanings. So you want to group them together. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. can do this yourself as well in your personal chapter, if you like. It's pretty magic. And, you know, I've linked to, a you know, thesaurus to show me what introspection means. As well. I mean, we could probably have, you know, it's like 10 yeah. interviews of these just on personal chapter. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is, there's so much you can do. Definitely. And it's one of those things where my, you know, idea, <laughs> I'm putting it out there now, would be uh -oh. that we have, um, <laughs> we sort of released different personal chapters you know, that made them available to people. Yeah. People are going to do interesting work in their personal chapter. Yeah. And, um, you know, why not? True, true, true. Uh, right, a couple of quick questions uh, yeah. before we wrap up. Yeah. So, uh, Sandy, the space, I've sent you the link. Uh, I'm just going to go back from the beginning from the last um, thing we didn't... So, Julek uh, <laughs> uh, wants to know how we can convince Rajan to have the work back in Red Robots. <laughs> um, Julek, I, I know Rajan personally. I mean, he's a lovely you know, a uh, guy, great homeopath. Uh, I think the answer is obvious. You know, he runs a another, you know, software house and he wants, you know, people to buy that product. So it would make sense that he doesn't want to give us the work so he can sell his product. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's understandable. It. Um, I, I, there is no hard feelings there. I mean, who can blame him? You know, uh, he, and he, you know, I, I can be honest as well and say, you know, these guys, you know, just like us, they, they work really hard. You know, you've got these software companies which are working day and night. We don't drive Ferraris, guys. Okay. Okay. You know, we're very dedicated to the mission of homeopathy. And so is Rajan and his team. So you can support everyone in that sense. Of course, if Rajan gives us the, the book, you know, people will be happy to have him read Ropus, but then you may not buy his product. And so mm. it wouldn't surprise me if it it's doesn't. It's good win. business yeah. sense from Rajan. Yeah. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, so. That's on that, but you're welcome to ask him along with everyone else. Um, and then we have uh, Maurizio asking, could we mix symptoms from different authors in the same repertorization, from different repertories at once? Uh, well, the views are specific to synthesis, mm. but you can uh, combine any number of repertories together um, into one analysis, yes. Okay. And then uh, someone's saying, are we going to add a TBR 2.1 anytime soon? I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't yeah. think it's in the plan. I mean, yeah, you never know. We have a yeah, huge list, but... Um, I think, um, yeah, the last little bit, if we've got time, I can just show you, you know, again, it's not to, like, be critical of the complete repertory. I use it. I think it's very good. Yeah, it is. Um, but I just wanted to show you some comparisons in the mind section between rubrics. So this is the rubric independent in uh, Adonis, and this is how it looks in complete. Um, what you'll see if you if you sort of dissect it, like most of them are actually different lanthanides. So dysprosium, all the different types of dysprosium, all the different types of europium. So actually, if you took all of those out, um, it would be, you know, it would be quite a lot smaller. Um, and if you compare it with ours, you know, you've got the lanthanides there just as a group. And, you know, some of them are in there. So it's better in, in that sense, yeah, it's like it's a little bit, a little bit easier and it doesn't, you know. Yeah. So that's just one example. Um, sensation of unification. So this is when someone talks about the need to feel connected comes up a lot in improvings. Um, so I, you know, so I added a lot there. And if you look at it in complete, much smaller, okay? Because you know, that that looking into the provings is, you know, not such a high priority Different choice. With, yeah. with that repertory. Uh, firmness or resolution. This is the other lovely thing about Adonis now is that it shows you the synonyms straight after the symptom, which is uh, very helpful. So if we look at firmness, you can see the geraniales plant group, stage eight periodic table are there, ferrum as a group. And then if we compare, you know, so actually, basically it's twice as big now. Mm. Uh, ailments from abuse, you see the birds and the sea animals coming up along with sapphire, one of Peter's. So mm. the Osperus, that's the tree that survived the nuclear uh, mm. uh, explosion. Mm. Um, Budlia, which is a remedy that was missing before, that's one of the meditative provings. 
Um, so yeah, compared to, you know, again, so basically when you're looking at the mind section, um, most, most of the time now Adonis is uh, a little bit bigger. Um, and of course it's showing you families too. Um, so, you know, so that really what I wanted to, sh you know, share with you is like, this is the USP of Adonis, yeah. you know, if you're dealing with psychological mm. focus in your, in your cases, then it's a very useful repertory. It's going to suggest different things than any other repertory, to be honest. Yeah. Synthesis is, you know, 12 years of immense work that have gone in there. So you can now see what the difference, you know, is. Yeah. Um, so if you look at something like uh, Sensation of Power, you know, row seven, the actinides is the main uh, remedy there, along with some gemstones. And there's no equivalent symptom. Desire to attack others, the animals, of course, and the Solanaceae there, Tarantula. Again, much smaller no families the sensation of fragility no equivalent incomplete okay there are more but um you know if you want to have the presentation i'm more than happy to send it to anyone who contacts us and i think um we're probably out of time aren't we well a bit so, over but it was uh, yeah it was great yeah fantastic thank you very much guys it's been an absolute pleasure Remember, you can go on redropus.com and uh, video section for this. Um, you know, this will be uploaded soon, but everything else yeah. that we've done so far. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. And um, we've got, uh, and also remember, if you've got any questions, guys, we have the Facebook group, mm -hmm. Redropus Facebook group. Uh, it's on every email that we send. You're welcome to ask, um, mm -hmm. you know, questions there as well. Luke is often there. I'm often there. Uh, mm -hmm. Frederick comes in every now and then. So. You can also yeah. chat to us there. Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks Goodbye. for coming. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.